I'm going to create my version of Stracotto, a local one-pot lamb stew. But not just the average lamb stew. My lamb stew has got celery, it's got black olives, orange zest, honey, fresh thymes, caramelized onion, red wine. It's got everything to make this the best stew ever. Now, the first thing we're going to have to look after is the onions. Slowly caramelize finely sliced red onion. Now, once they start to caramelize like this, which they are, they look amazing and it smells divine. Let's talk about the lamb. You can use leg of lamb, uh, you can use neck of lamb. You cannot use filet of lamb or any part of the lamb that is too tender. Size, look, big chunks. Straight away inside with the onions. So you probably want to do this for a good five minutes before you start to add any other ingredients. So, as the lamb is cooking, celery. I love when I buy celery with the leaves. Often people, they throw away the leaves. I'm gonna use this at the end just to give an extra kick. Big chunks, okay? So, like that. Celery goes in. Then I'm gonna start to use thyme and bay leaf. Now, let me tell you something about bay leaf. This is a quite tough herb. What you want to do is this, look, in your hands and bruise it. So you, you want it to really squish it. And the smell and the flavor is all gonna be released in there. So bay leaves goes in, thyme, just shake it, like that. Then orange zest. The flavor of the orange with the lamb, it just works beautifully. Let's start with the zest first. Don't throw away the orange because we're going to use the juice of the orange as well later on. Make sure that, see, all this zest in the back of your grater, just straight in there. Now, olives. Please make sure that they're pitted because someone will break their teeth. Now, once everything is in, honey. Honey and lamb, you can never go wrong, trust me. Guys, I wish you could smell this. Okay, now it's time to add the one. The one that I've chose for this recipe is called uh, Tormaresca. Now, this is a, a local wine from Puglia, from the region of Puglia. Uh, it's got a quite spicy uh, flavor to it. Okay, there is a rule when you cook with wine or any other alcohol. Make sure that the first liquid that you add into your food is always the alcohol. Because as it goes in, okay, what you can see very clearly, it starts to bubble away, and it tells me that the alcohol is evaporating, but the flavor stays in the pot. Next, add 10 tomatoes, squeeze in the orange juice, stir, cover, and simmer for half an hour. The funny thing is that people around Polignano, they tend to eat more meat than fish, which is quite strange, being on the Adriatic coast, but because of the rockery cliff, in the old days, it was very difficult for fishing boats to uh, come to the coast. So they, they kind of tended to have more meat than fish. Still looking good. OK. Now, remember, it takes an hour and a half to cook my lamb stew. So we do the first half an hour without the potato. And now is the time to add in the potatoes. Make sure you use a, a waxy potato. I don't want a floury potato because a floury potato is gonna break into the stew. I want a potato that can take another hour of cooking. So straight in there. After another hour of bubbling away, it's time for my final ingredients. First, add peas. Frozen or fresh will work. Then, do you remember the leaves from the celery? Just roughly chop them, a good handful. And this is gonna give color and flavors. Stir all together. Another 15 minutes, the job is done. While the stew simmers, rub raw garlic on toasted bread to accompany. So, nice rustic plates. Let's see. Look at that. Of garlic bread. Everything you need in life, right here in one bowl. <laughs>